is something in the water. So many of Chicago's rideshare divvy bikes are ending up in Lake Michigan that a group has formed to fish them out. Who's ultimately responsible? WGN's Mike Lowe reports. You can kind of see the skyline with like the clouds rolling in. On a summer morning, shortly after sunrise. Where else can you have a metro center that has clean, swimmable water, uh, you know, across miles of its coastline? A group of swimmers gathers at Montrose Harbor. It's a beautiful skyline we get to look at here at Montrose. Among them is a Chicago folk hero. And most Chicagoans know you as the Great Lake Jumper. <laughs> Dan O'Connor has jumped in the lake every day for four years. A tradition he started to reconnect with nature during the isolation of the pandemic. And it came down and I jumped in and it's just, uh, it was a really bad time with uh, the pandemic and uh, just it felt like a renewal. But a year ago, he noticed his first. Woo! Nice. That's a deep one. First try. Then second and third divvy bikes in the lake. The light went off in my head like, why are there so many? Why are so many of Chicago's ubiquitous rideshare bicycles ending up in the lake? It's a question that has increasingly frustrated this group of nearly two dozen regular swimmers. We're on a calm day, it's very obvious that there are bikes in the water. You can see the color, it's, gr it's blue, it's gray. So Glenn Rischke decided to do something about it. Organizing a group of divers to pull the bikes out of the water. Get ready. They're calling themselves the Alternative Anglers Association. It's just a rope, which is an old climbing rope with a carabiner. And my figure eight knot. <laughs> <laughs> and we just dive in and clip it wherever we can get to. Divi began its bike share program in Chicago in 2013. They are now a staple of the city's transportation system with 800 stations and 15,000 bikes and scooters scattered around the city. The City Department of Transportation oversees the Divi program. In a written statement, a department spokeswoman said, the number of missing Divi bikes fluctuates and CDOT is regularly reevaluating ways to deal with theft and misuse of Divi bikes. I think it's teenagers and it's just, you know, a cheap thrill. There's no consequence. Um, it's not their bike. It's just a random bike and they could throw it in. The rideshare company Lyft operates the fleet. The group says it's reporting the bikes, but sometimes it takes Lyft days or weeks to respond. And by that time, the bikes are frequently back in the water. We didn't know what to do with them, so we laid them up against the wall. There are probably 15 bikes up here, and in the last like two and a half weeks, every time we come back, there's like two less bikes, and two less bikes, and here they are. They're back in the lake. Lyft's employees are not divers. They can't put their employees in harm's way. They can't ask them to jump in the lake and get divvies. And this group acknowledges the dangers of fishing for divvies. The zebra mussels are sharp down there, so they, they can cut deep when you're trying to hook it on. Each bike has a geolocation device, but the water can damage them. The city told us, quote, this impacts the accuracy of tracking the number of bikes that end up in the lake each year. Uh, it looks like it's been down there a while. Some bikes are covered in algae. Dude, they're mossed over. They've been in there for at least a year. And have become part of the lake's ecosystem. <laughs> E-bikes were introduced in 2020, and with concerns about battery acid leaking into the lake. So this is one of the e divvies that we pulled out. The lithium-ion batteries, they're incredibly toxic. The alternative anglers want to see a citywide solution. I want this lake to be clean. I, you know, uh, the Great Lakes is 20% of the world's fresh water, and we need to protect that. At Montrose Harbor, Wow, seems like a never-ending cycle, unfortunately. But the city and Lyft say that they are making docking stations easier and more convenient for users across Chicago and the lakefront and increasing lakefront valet services. And they're encouraging anyone to report misused lifts to 311 and remind Divi uh, users that they can be held responsible. Bikes missing for longer than 24 hours can result in a fee charged to the account holder that took out that bicycle.